<laughs> How you doing, Jared? I'm doing Good okay. To see you. I just heard um a very interesting rumor, uh, which really contradicts how uh Marvel is doing things since mm-hmm. before the Fox acquisition. So I'm kind of happy slash perplexed as to how this is gonna work out. Um so yeah, what I heard was so you know, like a couple of years ago, Marvel was uh was like Xing all the mutants out of their comics. Like they stopped uh releasing X-Men comics because of this pre-Fox acquisition. Before they started talking about it, they were not trying to um do their do X-Men comics or mutant comics. Uh-huh. One of the many casualties of this was Squirrel Girl who was a huge <laughs> mutant, but then she got changed into an inhuman because of this whole Fox acquisition. So now that Fox has been bought by Marvel and Disney. Yeah, Disney, Disney doesn't play. Disney's buying everybody. The rumor is that she, well, that Marvel, okay, well, well what just happened in comics was Photon, you know, Monica Rambeau, well, in the... uh comics she was shown to have abilities as a child and apparently the event that had her uh jump start her powers as photon was just like a a jump start so it's rumored that she's a mutant and then the, after i read that comic book the next day i saw on the you know on my instagram marvel rumors feed that Monica and Captain Marvel, they are rumored to be mutants in the now highly anticipated The Marvel's movie. So it's supposed to be Monica Rambeau, uh, Captain Marvel, and then Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, are all supposed to be mutants. So that's very, very, very exciting to me. So, yeah. And they're supposed to be mutants in the... uh... MCU now. The MCU, because, the uh, Marvel. Miss Marvel. I thought Miss Marvel been a mutant in the mm-hmm. comics. No, Kamala Khan was an Inhuman. She's oh, always she been was Inhuman. inhuman. Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Mm-hmm. So now a, they're uh, they're all three supposed to be mutants in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In the Marvel comics, Photon or uh, Monica Rambeau is supposed mm-hmm. to be a mutant. And I don't know about okay. you, but this is supposed to be very exciting for me because if she is a mutant, she will automatically be a high, well, an omega level mutant. And she already has the training, like she was a leader of the Avengers. So she right. already can be one of their um, war leaders or one of their uh-huh. squad captains um, uh-huh. uh, in uh, the Marvel Universe, which means that she, oh, oh, which means that this upcoming marvel avengers comic book that they have announced is probably gonna have her in it so very exciting okay i'm i'm less excited by that news because <laughs> what? I, I, when i was um back when i when i was still reading comics uh, uh these characters got introduced monica rambo uh kamala khan um they were when they were introduced they were introduced as uh, monica rambo was like a just like a powered human uh, uh, like a meta human, mm-hmm. and then uh, Kamala was an inhuman, and so mm-hmm. that was they were really gearing up to have more stories about inhumans and powered super people, and there being like three major powered groups. And now it seems like they're turned, they're steering away from that. And I'm like, what was all this about? What was all that for then? Well, you know that um, they have totally shut off <laughs> the inhumans. Like the only inhuman in Marvel comics right now is Kamala Khan. Like, she's the only inhuman that comes around. But and she, she just doesn't became even have... a, um, a mutant, so... No, no, not Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan's, like, she's always been an inhuman. But you just said she's a mutant. They just said I said mutant. Monica Rambeau was just... Monica a mutant, yeah. but yeah. Kamala Khan is still an inhuman. Yeah, she's still an inhuman. Okay, what about uh, Black Bolt in Medusa? Black Bolt doesn't come around anymore. After I mean, he, he don't come to... around, but they still no. exist. So after he went to uh, prison... He just doesn't come around anymore. I mean, he still exists somewhere. So Medusa, so does Gorgon, 
So does all of the Inhumans. They're out in mm-hmm. outer space. But what, what happened with and your I boy respect John Major? Because, huh? What happened to your boy John Majors over the weekend, man? He choked <laughs> this girl out. Oh, that's how you doing? I ain't yeah. no switch to Lorente, but go ahead, Lorente. Yeah. My bad, my bad. No, 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 no. Go nah, ahead, nah. brother. Go I ahead, just had, brother. Because we started talking about the MCU, and I'm just like, hey, man, you know, Disney and Fox or Disney doesn't play about those allegations. Yo, so what came out today, I saw the story earlier this week. Um, his girlfriend or whoever it is um, has recanted her uh, allegations twice. Well, first, say what the allegations were. Um, that she, she, well, he was accused of like strangulation, slapulation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is basically beating her ass, right? Yeah. And so, then yeah, gonna... on top of that one accusation, all these people from John and Major's past, like previous directors, people in the, um, the, in the NYC, um, drama scene, people he went to school with started saying, what? yeah, yeah, he's a sociopath. And I'm glad that this, event went out so that now people can know that that he's a sociopath so bro and we just had this conversation where it's like i can't rock with you if one if you have a cult he doesn't does he have a cult he doesn't have a cult he doesn't not yet <laughs> okay cool 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 he's still all right he's still all right yeah. i mean i mean okay demarcus you can continue with what you're my bad my bad my bad DeMarcus. Go ahead. <laughs> but um girlfriend number counted her allegations twice and then Jonathan Majors got video evidence that he was actually the victim of that whole situation. Like, whatever they was they was arguing or whatever, and then she started beating on him. Ooh. And there's video evidence to prove it. You you saw the video? I haven't seen it. No, of course. I mean, I'm 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 old man. I ain't gonna search the internet for no damn no, video. Cause I just got I just got back in my Twitter. My Twitter got hacked. I've been out of Twitter for like two months. So I'm just now I've been on Facebook this whole time and it's been it's been a little rough. I saw this on I saw this on Instagram this morning, but um Ooh. But yeah, it's like I was like I didn't believe that. I was like, hmm. I was like, his career just just popping off. He ain't finna. And then I saw his, how white his girlfriend was. I was like, he ain't finna hit that white woman like that. His career just now popping off. He ain't that stupid. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that information was released Saturday evening. He was arrested Saturday morning. Um, and then the lawyer of Johnny Major said that the girlfriend did recant her his statement twice. He did have video evidence. The driver was saying he didn't do that, yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. He has all this evidence that hasn't been released to the public yet. Um, but there has already been fallout. And I think this fallout is mainly because the uh of the other stories that have happened. Like he he just had an army commercial that came out on Thursday. They took that away. Yeah, they took that away Saturday. Mm-hmm. Well, not Saturday, but Sunday. You said uh, army? Yeah, for the mm-hmm. army. Wow, uh, why they take this? Wow. Oh, the main they be the main ones doing it. Yeah. I'm but sorry, the thing you. is, like an army check is for life. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like you get your residuals because army does like one commercial, and then that's their one commercial for the next 25 years. <laughs> yeah, no, so so he will have that residual check that he just lost. Um, but the other but because of these allegations, I, I don't think that Marvel or like Warner Brothers with Creed or any of his other um, studios have released what's going to happen to him. You know, I think that they're waiting for the full evidence. So All right. we'll see but, what happens. But but you do know that was, Disney doesn't play, at least. Disney does not was, play. Folks was jumping on that train hard, though. But I was, you know, but it, it, I was like, this seems oddly timed. Right, you know what I'm saying? You don't, find it, you I don't mean, find it suspicious. I mean, no, because <laughs> it's just one thing to to not, you know, find, you know, somebody suspicious or or to find somebody suspicious, and then there's another part that's like you need to always believe the woman, because there are there are times where like the woman is never believed for when somebody is sexually assaulting them or domestic violencing them. So like it's like you need I- to believe what the woman is saying when she's saying it. I hear you on that, but I'm not finna just automatically believe nobody, no matter what they telling me. Wow. Period. You gotta wait for the facts to come out. Yeah, yeah. But it's not, it's not, it, but it, it's, it goes along that line I'm, of not saying, hey, you're right or you're wrong. It's like, hey. Right, don't pick a side. Like, like the guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, It just happened to 6 9 but Jesse, Jesse Smallier, however you pronounce it, mm-hmm. when he first got attacked, 
I didn't know what was going on. It was just really weird. Shit just was just moving fast. Like just stuff just kept coming out. So right. it's just like with stuff like this, I kind of take a wait and see approach. I don't condemn anyone because you know I'm not there. I don't know all the facts. Who does, right? So, yeah. so and when saying, I saw that, I'll oh, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead, my man. I'm... Man, with Jonathan Majors, it's just a couple of roles he did have. I kind of okay. I, I got had to separate. Okay, he is an actor, so some of these roles were believable. That might not be his true personality, how he is as a man, mm-hmm. how he carries himself, you know, in his daily walk. So, and that's something that you know, with a lot of these entertainers, actors, artists, all that, we don't know how they truly are outside of the, you know, the movie, right. the film. So, so yeah. Yeah. But, but like, I think that like a big thing that like helped me to believe what, what she said um, was that the director posted uh, what he said about, you know, John and Majors being a sociopath. He posted that in like early February and then somebody retweeted him and said, oh, I guess that this situation proves who you were talking about. And then he retweeted that and said, ding, 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 ding. So, you know, it's just like. For which film? That's crazy. Which film? You know, Johnny Majors was an actor the whole time. So yeah, it's probably one of those smaller of films. Okay, okay. That oh, that's even, worse. I, yeah, that's even worse. I, 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 like, even stuff like that, like, people calling people, like, out their name or whatever it's hard for me it's hard for me to just take that and be like oh this proves every other thing down the road because people have called me a sociopath but the people who've called me a sociopath are people who were displeased or angered by me in the moment or you know just didn't like me outright well um demarcus i like you because i still talk to you at least but you are a sociopath you do have sociopathic behaviors y'all see what i'm saying this is exactly what I mean, but that don't mean. So if a woman now came up and was like, "Yo, Demarcus slapped the shit out of me," yeah, kind of, that's not that's not okay, carte nah. blanche. I, thinking I'm a sociopath is not carte blanche to believe this woman that's that's saying I beat her. I mean, I know you. I don't think that you would like. I, I don't think you're around here going Ray Charles on all these women, but Ray I Charles? listen to what she had to say. Ray Charles would, to beat people, boy. Hey, yeah. Boy. <laughs> You how, you seen, how, you let, how you let a blind man with your ass? Anyway, not off topic. My bad. Go so, ahead. so I would, uh, well, I would believe the women. I would say, like, okay, tell me what happened. You then would I would actually, then I would call you, and mm-hmm. we would talk about what happened. Trust but verify. I mean, I guess I'll accept that. But yeah, like, how would you? To, you've known me for over a decade, I and mean, a I'm woman came up to you, and a woman came up to you and was like. You know what I'm saying? DeMarcus be my ass. You gonna automatically believe her? I would trust and verify, just like you said. Because nah, nah no, fuck that. I trust me. I don't think that you would let your emotions go that far to actually mm-hmm. love a woman to that extent, or to actually think that you have <laughs> enough control to love over a woman, a woman. To that extent. Or, 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 or or hate a woman to that extent. I think okay. that you are emotionless to all women who you come in contact wow. with. Wow. But, so, so mm-hmm. I don't think that you want to control them because I don't think that you care. Nope. So if yeah. somebody told me that you hit them, I'll be like 65%. Okay, I'm going to believe you, but I'm going to ask him. 65? Really that's a high percentage, bro. I mean, what that's a little feeling great. It, what about you, Dante? If, if a woman came up, he was like, DeMarcus <laughs> popped me in my mouth. Like, he'd he be beating on me. <laughs> you should have said, said that, that first one. We, you say uh, the Marcus popped me in my mouth. Well, what did you say? Why why he popped you in the mouth? Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah. But now when he's come to beating on you, I'm like, hold on, hold on. What? Not not the Marcus. Then I'm gonna hit you with the Facetime. Hey, hey man, say man, what's going on? Hey, and she I'm right here. She said she, she said you be beating on. I'm like, man, I don't even know. I have, I... <laughs> well, you, exactly. you don't if, even know what they mean. If you admit but, to it though, if you did it and you admit it to my man, come on, we can't we can't be carrying on. You like know you better than that. Yeah, yeah I mean, I feel the same. I feel the same. I feel the same I've, about about both of y'all. If somebody ever came up was like, "Yo, Lorenzo and Jared is beating on me," I'd be like, mm, "Are they?" How about let me go? Let me let me investigate. Yeah, I don't believe. Yeah, I don't. I don't do the abuse. I, I can leave. I'm I'm really good at leaving. That's like one of my. Yeah. Like if I was yeah, a superhero, you are. that'd be my. That'd be like one of my abilities. I could just leave at any moment. Like you look now, <laughs> just disappear, teleport out. Um. Uh, so say say a woman is beating on you and you cannot get away. These are the these are the circumstances. There's no way to 
exit the situation. There's no one to call. Are you are you getting beat up or are you defending yourself? I mean, I'm not gonna uh, sit there and take it. What do you what? What kind of question is that? I mean, Jared, the way you be talking, you be like, you know. Cause who's I to say what? once you get away, she can go tell someone, hey, he beat on me. Look at these bruises. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm never going to be in a situation where I'm in a fight with a woman. So that's the reason. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You, y'all might be going after the same dude one day. Who knows? If me and a woman are going after the same dude, then she can have him. Like, if he wants <laughs> me, he'll come to me. Like, it's it's no, it's that's no thing. Or yeah. after you get back with her, after you get back with her, he's going to come back to you. I mean, mm-hmm. if that's what he wants. If he want to uh, sample the goodies, he, then he can come if and sample the double goodies. Dip. <laughs> Double if he want to compare, I don't mind him doing that if he's cute enough. Hey, yo. <laughs> no, I mean, that doesn't make any difference to me, but um, but yeah, that that I mean, I'm probably never going to get in a fight with a woman because I mean, I just don't care that much. And and, and mm. I don't care that much like with a man to to like, you know, get in a mm-hmm. fight with him. Like, I don't I don't know what that's all about. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'll leave you out. My last comment is I don't think Jonathan Majors put his hands on that woman in any significant way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm about fifty okay. percent sure. I I wouldn't put it past him because I don't know him, so I wouldn't mm. put it past him. So I don't in know any, his mama, I don't any... know his grandmama. That's that's right. That's right. I don't know nothing about this man. He just like he just act really good in the movies. He got the big arms. He, he, <laughs> he just he got the big arms. arms. He, he just got the big, big arms, arms like a year and a half ago, eighteen months ago. <laughs> come on, hey man, come on, yeah, man. You hey. got him just for this role. Hey, Don't man. do that. Came to conquer a role. Can he pick me up? I got that. I'm just talking shit. But uh, uh, you want to be, be picked up by John and Majors? No, no, not no, not next right. like time. No, so before we introduce our special guest. Let's go ahead and have our musical break, and then we'll come right back with the BGE podcast. And we're back with this episode of Black Geek Energy. We are pleased to have world-renowned recording producer and our dear friend, Lauren Bromel on the line. Yay! Hey, hey, hey. I'm sister from another mister. How you doing? Hello, hello. How you doing? So I think that today will be kind of our telling of another geekdom. And I think this is only a geekdom with Black people. And this is um, band geekdom, like marching band culture band in geekdom. college, uh, HBCUs more preferably. Middle and, school. Well, in Georgia, that's not everywhere, is it? In Georgia, I nah. know, but in like... I mean, I, my middle school didn't have a marching band, but I know people who were in the marching band in middle school, and I'm like, damn, you, but, yeah, you know. was in the trenches. <laughs> <laughs> you was in the trenches. But That's a like, long time to be. <laughs> but are like marching, marching especially. Yeah. But are marching bands big in like, in like high school and middle school in like North Carolina, South Carolina? Yeah. I think yeah. so. Texas. I know definitely high school. I don't know yeah. about middle school. I mean, so what happened at my high school is we had middle schoolers from our like feeder schools marching with us in high school. So there'll be like seventh, eighth graders in the band with high schoolers. Wow, that's yeah. cheating. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's cheating. Or yeah, it's kind of like that. grooming on very young. Yeah. yeah. Like they marched it's definitely the grooming. They, they, yeah, marched they was in the game. game. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And that's you went to grading? How did y'all practice together? They came, they the school wasn't that far, so they would just walk down the hill to the high school. Yeah, because wow. I was I was at during school or like after no, no, school. No, 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 after school, right after school. So okay. like practice probably started like what uh 
got to school at like 3.30. Practice probably started around like 4.35. Yeah, wow. I would hop on the bus. Like I, I marched eighth grade in the high school band as well. So I just hop on the bus. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like most counties out there, you know, with middle school, they can go to high school. So I just stay on my bus or it's a different bus route, but I ride that bus route. It'll come to mm-hmm. uh, the high school. I'll hop off, go down to the band room, change out real quick. Mm-hmm. Get in line. You know, so yeah, yeah definitely. So let's go. Right yeah, that's. <laughs> I mean that that's Dang. the band I joined for because like the sit down band, the uh, the the symphonic ensemble. I like that, but I joined band. We already know I joined band. I joined for that showman, yeah. that showman yeah. shit, that show style type. You were of trying, trying to be hard. hard. Trying not be hard. hard. No, no, not hard. But just just the, you know the funkiness. I like playing current stuff on the radio. You know, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. this back then. Yeah, you know, Ti was popping Man. out, so big things popping, <laughs> little things stopping. Hey. Like, 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 so, so yeah, let's exactly. Just go around okay. and say what we all played in the band, or what Oof. instruments we played in the band, because that's how we met. We all met in the band. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that we we'll get more. Long that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh Lord, Thank did you, you know that I'm not actually invited to Demarcus Orlando's wedding? Uh, Wait, say it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm not say it right. invited to say it Demarcus right. or Laurente's wedding. Like, like they're they're just gonna let me like the pictures on Instagram. But um, but yeah, let's go around and <laughs> are you not hold on? Let, no, no, now that you brought it up, are you not invited or are you just not in the weddings? Wow. There's a big difference. It, it sounds so like 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 when you say it, it actually There's hurts a, more that you're not in difference. the wedding. Wow. <laughs> that you're yeah, not a big the difference. Right. that's a big difference. That's a I mean, it's difference. the same thing to me. Definitely. It's, it's, oh my it's God. Exact same exactly, thing. exactly, Lauren. This is shit we deal with. <laughs> so, so let's go around and say what instrument we all play. Demarcus, no, actually, ladies first, Lauren. What <laughs> instrument did you okay, play? Okay. It is March. I played, yes, women's month. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yes, I played snare drum. Um, yeah. Four years in college, three years in high school, and one year I played Quince in high school. Oh, you so you didn't That's play uh you didn't play your freshman year in high school? Yeah, I played Quince my oh, freshman played- year. I can just say. Oh, uh, and then gotcha, gotcha. the rest of the three years I played snare, and then in college, all four years I played snare. Y'all know that though. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. so you didn't okay. like the Quince? It was just heavy. It was just like oh. real heavy. And, I mean, um, yeah. yeah. Like you can, you know, you can get down a little bit. You can be way more funkier with the snares. Just more showmanship, like Norman was saying, like, you know, more swag. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the it's where the, the leaders are too. You feel me? Yeah. So the mark is what you I just trying? wanted to step it up. Um, I played trombone from seventh grade all the way through college. Um hey. I played a, I played a little bit of tuba in high school. Oh, I played a, a little okay. bit of baritone at Hampton in college. Um, never not enough to switch to those instruments, but just like you know, I got it under my fingers, and I was like, eh, I don't want to do it. So stuck with the trombone, man. Yeah, I know they like trombone players, right? Imagine the Marcus <laughs> as a as a tuba player. You do it in seventh position. I can imagine. I can definitely see that. Well, as a tuba player, yeah, I, yeah. Man, that shit was heavy. Lauren, like you felt about the uh, damn quint, that tuba was heavy as fuck. And I was smaller. Yeah. I was like, I'm not doing this. Mm. My back can't take it. Oh, yeah. 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 I yeah. need a tuba. homeboy in high size. school. I had a homeboy in high school who had to get scoliosis. I'm not saying this because he's played tuba, but I'm sure that shit ain't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The markets and the tuba are the exact same size. In fact, he may be a little bit. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of swollen now. He's swollen, right? Now. You know what I'm saying? I got swollen. a little weight on me now. Like, like now, I could play the tuba. You know, I could hold that bitch up. But shit, back then, that shit would have. I would have crumbled halfway through yeah. the game. When, hey, wind blow too hard. Wind blow too hard. Hey, <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I was gonna say I was more so talking, thinking like personality wise, the market mm. you know, I can see him playing tuba. You know, what, see, what kind of, okay. what kind of personality? You weren't. Tuba? No, no, you weren't <laughs> there when the markets was a freshman. 
and those and he had those no, braids. No, wasn't right. I that didn't he know needed to cut off. I had braids, braids my my sophomore year too. She knew we yeah. were braids. Yeah, those mm-hmm. braids were horrible. Yeah. They were kind of long though. Exactly. Oh I God. had that hang time. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow. Those no, are horrendous. I hate him. I I'm, like just saying, I'm glad he got locks now. That's all. <laughs> hey. I like the locks. Hey, locks are the way, though. Locks are definitely the way. They uh, are. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I just locked my hair. Hey. Ooh, you are really? Yeah, nice I normally don't tell people. Let's yeah, I normally don't tell people. I just let them see me. But, you know. No. I know. I'm probably going to see y'all soon anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm almost on the second. It'll be three months. Oh, wow. wow! Let's yep. go. Okay. Turn your camera on so yep, we can see. It. <laughs> maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> I just right. got home. All right, Lorante. Okay. What about you? And so yeah, so I, I did middle school through uh, high school. So I actually I started out. Shout out to my band director, man. He's a fuck nigga. This nigga tried to put me on clarinet. Nothing wrong with clarinet. Yeah. Nothing's wrong. Listen, listen. You just like, called that man a fuck nigga, though. Because how he did it. Like, as a grown, as I'm looking back now, we had way more than enough instruments. And he threw, like, the majority of the room. He threw, like, 30 people on clarinets. Like, so we had, like, a room full of clarinets. But now, nah, nah, so he gave me the option between clarinet and trombone. So I played the trombone six through uh, eighth grade. But when I got to eighth grade, we didn't have any tuba players. I, so, uh, know about you. Huh? I, I think I told you it's like once or twice. Okay, once or twice. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah I, I think I thought I liked about you. <laughs> then, <laughs> so like eighth grade come around, we don't have any Super Bowl players. And I was like, shit, I'll try it. And then I, I, I rock with it. But when I marched eighth grade and uh, when I played for the high school, I marched on trombone. And that mm. shit was whipping my ass, boy. That, what you mean? <laughs> one, 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 one. Right, I'm coming from, you, know, <laughs> you got the arms for it, Lorente. Your arms alone. I know, but I'm coming from middle school to high school and like the level, you know how just the level of showmanship. Oh, man. Yeah. It was yeah. just a lot. I was like, bro, I can't do these melodies. Give me baseline. Baseline. <laughs> <laughs> Lorente, I actually can see you um on the clarinet. I mean, I if I would have been if I would have stayed on clarinet, I would have got cold. I ain't yeah. gonna care. Yeah. 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 yeah, I probably would have been run, running through my section, but, shit, but I would have been cold. But then my, your personality is more of a tuba personality. Mm, you know, mm, lazy, only three notes. <laughs> lazy. <laughs> That's not how I thought this was going. Don't be no, like one like that, man. No America, real. <laughs> like, like no real. Uh, Finish uh, Finish the the stage, ship. Come you on. just play three notes the whole season and you just uh switch up those notes three whole notes the whole season oh and gosh. i think that uh, that's more <laughs> of your personality just to be big and loud and just this that's it laurent is big and loud. he ain't even a loud person though <laughs> right i mean but i mean hey, he's loud in stature because he's so tall let, let he can't he can't help how tall he is right. exactly let Jared tell it though Exactly. Just, just, and I, I think that the, I think that the clarinet would be a better fit for him, but the tuba is the right fit for him because it matches his mm. personality. I was trying to play trombone, though, man. My shoulder fuck, it ain't fucked up now, but man, my shoulder got fucked up. The trombone? trombone? I know the tuba. Oh, oh tuba. tuba, 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 tuba. tuba. Okay, I okay, wish okay, I would have okay, stayed okay. on trombone. Yeah, yeah. I could have been slide force, man. I could have got the yeah. skittles, man. Yeah, yeah. Not the skittles. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, no. yeah, exactly. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, man, Slap Force is lit. I <clears throat> played the um the cymbals and I did not start until like my second year in college. <laughs> and that's because I wanted to um travel because I was a cheerleader my first year. And then I just mm-hmm. wanted to travel still. Uh, so I joined mm-hmm. the band. I played the cymbals. So that's weren't you a band manager? Oh yeah. So Did you not year. play an instrument and you were just a band manager? So like yeah. ain't you like the least real mm-hmm. on this call? Oh wow. Oh. The least oh, real. The mic <laughs> we go wow. there. The least Whoa. real. As a slide force like member. That. As a slide <laughs> force <laughs> member. That that He's really still, does uh, sting. Uh, yeah. Let, As, I mean, well, I don't understand why group things, happy. actually. I don't understand why this things as a because I'm a slide force member, because our our sister section was black magic. Not Black Diamond. I mean, but we have a lot of people who are honorary 
in both sections, in both our sections. Uh, so yeah, but, I think you know they the most, yeah. so they're honorary honorary what now? Honorary slot. They're honorary. They're honorary. Uh, see the way you become an honorary slot. I won't get into that. Um, because <laughs> <laughs> it's real. It's not extremely difficult. <laughs> mm, mm. So 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 why don't more people do it? Honorary. Why don't more people do it? I mean, because you still got to be chosen. Black Diamond is real. <laughs> anyway, we're all you, I'm not gonna let you go uh, against Black Diamond like that. You dirty bastard. No, ain't nothing wrong with Black. Ain't nothing wrong with Black Diamond. <laughs> and and I'm not with, the least yeah. real. But I love Black I was, Diamond. After I was some of my uh, favorite people. Sure. After I was in Black Diamond, I did play the symbols for the rest of my college career, and yeah, that was fun. That was fun. But mm -hmm. as Lauren kind of inferred, we are also in this one organization. You know, mm -hmm. along with our uh marshy man organizations live force sticky lowdown black diamond we are also a part of another organization which is the red dog order and that is for people who are from georgia who go outside of georgia for um for school and that's so that they can have a family when they are in the marching band program so at hampton which is the kappa chapter of this family we are all a part of this organization. And I think all y'all crossed at my house, actually. Mm, yeah. 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 That's real. Yeah. That's right. Because <laughs> cross at my house? I don't think so. Yeah. All y'all crossed no. at my little apartment. Mm, I, I three. No, no, no. No. She was on while I was not across. Yeah. Because the folks that, yeah. that would have crossed at my house, we dropped them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Another conversation. Yeah. Another conversation. Oh, I think we're all uh, marching pirates too, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're all marching pirates. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which is <laughs> like the overall thing for Hampton. But I don't think y'all are as real <laughs> for marching pirates, though. Okay. Like I yeah, know, like, I know that Laranza. We, never mind. Like I said it. I yeah, mean, mean y'all didn't do Rolling Thunder. What? what yeah, exactly. Exactly. You don't know what, you don't even know what Rolling Thunder is. I know, you know what Rolling Thunder is. Uh, did you have to because, do it? Because the, 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 the original Martin Pirate made me a Martin Pirate. <laughs> uh, Mr. Holmes? Yeah. No, no. Oh, the he was at my the one that's stuff? The one that's on the cake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's my cousin. <laughs> How? How? Uh, yeah, I figured out that's my cousin because he kept talking about Florence. I was like, Who's in Florence? And then uh, he said somebody. And I was like, "Do you do you know my grandma?" He said, "Let me ask." And then he went and asked. And he was like, "Yeah, I do know her. She's my something." I'm like, "Oh, so we cousins?" Mm -hmm. so yeah, he's mm -hmm. my cousin. That's what's he up. is my cousin. We are part of Marching Pirate, uh, but back to RDO, which is mm -hmm. the main thing that we are a part of, and that's mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. And it was great. It was you know. I remember y'all uh, that's funny that that candy. When I was in college. <clears throat> Wait, what'd you say, Lauren? Same. I said that was the first thing, like the organ first organization I joined when I was in college. Outside of well, I guess it was in the band, but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. First thing Same. I crossed. <clears throat> it was fun. I remember y'all mm. that flanging that candy, raising them funds. Y'all was doing a good job. Oh yeah, y'all did. Uh, <laughs> we're like little Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts on campus. <laughs> Yeah. Um, which we are did a lot. We did a lot. We, we, we had people walking for um, what you call it? We we did a lot. Mm -hmm. We was cleaning up the band room. Yeah. I feel like we really kind of changed the culture. Like, you know, between our generations of RDO, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I feel like the we're a big. I don't want to say a part, but we're a part of the reason that the band is kind of progressing the way it is. Because now it's a whole bunch of kids from Georgia. Oh, oh yeah, it is. When we first came in. Yeah. But yeah, it used when we first to be came scant. in, it was only <laughs> it six, like be... seven of us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it yeah. used to be scant, but because I, I, I did it by myself, I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but I think, but it goes still, up even if you had did it, hadn't did it by yourself, it would have only been a few of y'all, like mm -hmm. it would have been one extra person, it would have been eight. <laughs> yeah, I think it goes like yeah. up and down with people going up to Hanson from Georgia because, like. My year, it was a whole bunch of people. Then it kind of whittled That's down true. to the markets yeah. as one. 
Then it kind of went back up for like Lauren and Laurenta years. Then it kind of went down. Mm -hmm. Then it was this mm -hmm. line of 16 that I just had two years ago. Yeah. Um, At Hampton? Nah, that was three yeah. years ago, bro. Yeah. Oh, three years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like you didn't know that. 16. I didn't know. I knew it was the one line that was like a bunch, but I didn't know it was 16. Yeah, it was 16. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. What did y'all yeah. do with them? That must have been fun. No, crossed that Jared's house. <laughs> yeah. I, I got a I I Airbnb and I crossed them. So exactly. Yeah. Crossed mm -hmm. the Poom pay, <laughs> poom pow. <laughs> poom pay, poom pow. Ah! <laughs> so so yeah we uh so i did them and now it's kind of wheeling back down to uh mm. to no one so it kind of goes up and down really? but, um but why do you think that is uh why do people not want to go to hampson and why are they going to these other major schools like jackson state southern even fam and bethune because we all play the same um, stuff differently though definitely differently so um, yeah, like is, is like definitely a different culture even as far as playing style compared mm -hmm. to like where we're from like it's way different mm -hmm. in my but, but opinion isn't, isn't that everywhere Just like even like don't, you, don't you think it's different at like Badoon than it is in atlanta mm -hmm. yeah but but i would i would say that Bethune is a little closer too so it's mm. more I feel like it's more familiar to what we used to like Norfolk and, you know, VSU and Autumn schools, they play a little different than, you know, yeah. even like a SWAT school, like a Grambling or Jackson State found, like they just sound different. Yeah. It's a lot um, more complicated in the North kind of, like the musicality. It's, it's, it's more about music. The arrangement is, is different. Yeah, the arrangement is totally, I don't want to say it's totally different, but like, yeah, talking at, at Hampton sounds completely different than, you know, talking down, further down south. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the first time you go, they call it net. They don't call it talking. Different. <laughs> that too. That too. Yeah, yeah, I think that us in Norfolk are the only people that call it net. <laughs> That and I also also feel like the scholarship money is is a little better down south too. Oh yeah, absolutely that. So uh, you know, money talks. I mean, yeah. now now they're giving away like full rides. So at Hampton, yeah, yeah at Hampton, it's it's one of those. It's a um, combination of things. They're looking for you know strong academic students, so you can get a you know academic scholarship, and an mm -hmm. advanced scholarship kind of just takes care of the rest. Mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. in regards to that so that was one of the uh, grievances one of the young well he's not their alumni now it's crazy how, how fast time flies but that was um one of their like complaints like hey we were promised this but when we got there it was actually hey you need to have this that and that you know if that makes mm -hmm. sense to, to maintain mm -hmm. the scholarship so that's that's kind yeah. of what they yeah i mean that's but that's good. exactly how that my changed, scholarship though. was my bad Lauren. oh no um, that's all yeah. um, that's exactly how my scholarship was because i had I had an academic scholarship and then the band took care of my room and board. And so that way I was completely covered. Um, so, I mean, I don't understand. I like that. I like that they like, I like that uh, the band director, whoever it was, you know, went out his way to make the combo package. Like, all right, bet, you know, I got a good player here and what your academics look like. I can also get you this, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, so they, so, cause I had to go out, I had to do it myself. I had to go to the financial aid office to get my academic scholarship and get that squared away. Then I had to audition for the band and, you know, do that whole thing to get that squared away. So, that's you know, like three for weeks. him, yeah. That's like three but, weeks of right around. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> so for him to like take it upon himself to like mess all that together, that's, that's progress in my book. Um, mm -hmm. and, if, and if I can go back to the, to the question you was asking about why folks don't go up north, uh, distance and scholarship money, but also clout, man, just like, and when you talk about marching bands, immediately comes to mind is Spam You because they was in the Super Bowl. Um, uh, at damn Bethune, uh, your Jackson State, those bands like the bands in the South, they got more clout. They just you know folks know about them. Um, <clears throat> but I mean Hampton is getting that way now, where you know it's just getting more and more, <clears throat> more, you know, more well known for their band, but they're well known for other stuff. Clout already. is subjective because it is. Because yes, Marching Band was in the Super Bowl 30 years ago. And 
but 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 then but then ten. like like ten. a couple Don't years ago much, <laughs> but then a couple <laughs> years ago uh fam you was just in this uh fashion show in in france and that was mm-hmm. really big and mm-hmm. like us at hampton we just did new Macy's year's day? parade for the pope oh. and then we did macy's which is huge for any hbcu and mm-hmm. but still like it's always like Jackson, Southern, in cats. Mm-hmm. And even like Norfolk has this edge on us when we are um when we're playing. So I don't so know. So when we were playing, what do you mean? Like how many people they have or no, I, I mean, yeah, but I mean like performance wise. What do you mean? Like people, like more people look at Norfolk as like the better school. And like, and like when you, when I'm talking to people, they're always like, like Norfolk uh, 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 is harder. And like Hampton's full of like the snooty rich kids. Oh, okay. Who, yeah. Who, like that's, yeah. Who, that's who, who are all from like North Atlanta, <laughs> the North and side and just faking it. I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I am too. I am Norfolk, too. I mean, I thought I thought you were going a different direction. I was just like, Norfolk is just easier to get into. Like, it's yeah, an easier Norfolk school. Is, it's an easier college to get into. That's, yeah, that's what yeah. that is. But it's an easier, I, cheaper school. I would like to let's let's, let's 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 make this conversation more relatable for the rest of our listeners because we've been just reminiscing here, and I love it. And let's <laughs> uh, what 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 made y'all what made y'all join the band, and then. I know we all had that moment where it's like, man, I'm about to quit this shit. What made y'all stay? Well, as I said, I um, joined just to travel. But mm. I did stay in the van a long time. I was even a staff member for mm-hmm. like 10 years. So uh, so after I, make you gra- how? after I graduated, <laughs> you bastard, uh, <laughs> it really made me happy to like help those kids like like when I was getting those girls scholarship money. So I was like um, an assistant to the, I was an assistant to the coach for Ebony Fire, which is the oh. dance team. And so, you were getting them scholarship money. Yeah, I got them like $500, $500. You was taking money out of my pocket. No, I got these. them $5,000 from Sierra and at and um, oh, um, okay. Based on videos I made and, um, you know, highlighting them and their achievements and, really um making sure that they were seen and on the forefront of things five hundred dollars so, a split or five hundred dollars each five thousand dollars for the team oh, okay cool. yeah that was to be used for scholarships or book money or whatever um, nice so so really seeing them uh and then helping out the coach uh really was why i stayed in there so it was like helping and just being a a good uh second hand for like everything that was happening so that's why i stayed for so long yeah no that makes sense that makes sense what about y'all why did y'all stay um, yeah oh go ahead uh okay i'll I go mine is quick mine is uh so i joined the band it was it, i i didn't join the band on purpose i was i was in middle school and i and you know the band lady came by the band director in my middle school came by because she needed she needed folks in the band um, and my, one of my friends was going to join the band at the time. And he was like, yeah, I'm trying to play trombone. And he would, he would move his hands up and down. Like he was, <laughs> like he was playing the drum. And I was like, hey, you gonna do what? He's like, I'm gonna play trombone. And he would like make the motion as if he playing the drum. I was like, I was like, that's a trombone. <laughs> I was like, that's a snare. <laughs> I was like, a trombone is like this. And when I made the motion to like for a trombone, the band director saw me in the hallway and she was like, you want, like, you want to play trombone? And I was like, damn it. <laughs> like, I don't. <laughs> I, I was making fun of him. Got your ass. Come on. Got, got me. Uh, um, Third so period. I ended, I ended up joining the, she was like, well, just give it a try. You know, if you don't like it, you can quit. And I was like, all right. Um, I ended up joining the band. He didn't. Uh, <laughs> and so... You know, when I got there, I was like, I don't really want to play no trombone. I want to play like a trumpet or a saxophone. And she was like, she's like, well, I already got too many trombo- too many trumpet players, too many saxophone players. You can either play a bass clarinet, a trombone, or I think uh, the last one was like a tuba. And I was like, I was like, man, I was like, bitch, you, you got to be fucking kidding me. Uh, so I was like, fuck it, I'll play the trombone. 
<laughs> but that's how I felt, man. I was like, yo, I feel I feel bamboozled like a motherfucker. That I joined the band playing trombone. I sucked. And I was like, Dad, I gotta quit this shit because I'm I'm failing, I'm failing band because I can't play the damn trombone. Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like you feeling like you're not feeling good as a musician, or you feeling like you got a C in this motherfucker? Nigga, I had a D in band. Oh my god! How? Because <laughs> I couldn't play. Wow. Like hey, I knew music, like, I could read music, but I could not make sound come out of the instrument. What? And, like, and a whole How semester, oh, a whole man. semester went by like that. Like me just trying and trying and trying, and I could not make any sound. Um. And so I was like, Dad, I got to quit because I can't do it. And, and he was like, suck. I suck, he was like nah. He was like, nah, you ain't going to quit. <laughs> so that's why I stayed because they wouldn't let me quit. And I thought I was <laughs> slick because I was, I didn't, my middle school band director knew the high school band director that I was going to. And so she was like, oh, yeah, I got a trombone player. I'm sending it to you. I'm a, you know, he going to come to your band camp and everything. I ain't go to that damn band camp because it was over the summer. And I was like, I ain't going to take my fucking summer away from me. I don't want to do this shit anyway. I thought I was slick. I was like, if I just don't, if I never show up, you know, I won't have to go. The band director at my high school had them put band on my uh, class schedule before I even started school. <laughs> Yo, had me trapped. Yeah. But after high school, I loved it. First game in high school, I was like, oh, this is it. I'm, I'm sticking with this shit. Wow. <laughs> wow. So then what made you come to Hampton after all that? Oh, uh, like, like I said, after... Uh, after in high school, after I played my first game, after I performed at my first game, I was like, oh, I was like, this is lit. It's like some Friday night light shit. Um, and then I went, and then what made me go to Hampton is I wanted to get away from home, but I still wanted to be a, in a show style band. I wanted to get as far away as I could and still like march. And Hampton was that. So that's where I went. Cool. Hey, for sure. <laughs> what about you, Lorenta? Why did you stick with Laurente? Laurente, why did I? Why did I? Speak you don't with really him? have y'all fans thinking his name is something else. No, right. no, seriously, Lorenzo I'm a fan. Alejandro. I'm a fan. I've listened to all the episodes y'all dropped so far. People are <laughs> confused, dude. It gets worse, <laughs> yo. You, you call her like three different me. names. It gets <laughs> worse because I can't offline. It was my bad. But people have asked me offline, it's like, why Jared can't get his name right? <laughs> Dude, he does it on purpose because he knows that's like one of my biggest pet peeves. Oh, it is? I didn't know like, that? Yeah, I don't have a lot of them. You say that every time. One of them. One of them. Oh, one really? of them like, I, I it, didn't know that. Where, where that, okay, okay, where where that comes from is like when I was younger and, you know, my, my mother, she moved us up. She moved us from the west side of Atlanta to Covington. And, you know, that um the racial... The racial makeup is a bit different. Now, coming from the west side of Atlanta, everyone's black, top top down. Whereas in Covington, it wasn't my it was majority white at the time. Where's that now in 2023? It's predominantly black. But at the time, you know, it was, it was white, uh, white people. Mm -hmm. So so the name Laurente was a hurdle. And I was too young to I wasn't as stern. Like, you know, I correct you now two or three times, you'll get it. But then, you know what I'm saying? So I had a whole teacher for a semester called me the wrong name. Wow. And like, you know, oh, people, Lord, people were pretty at it. No, nah, I was the one to stand up and correct her. Cause like, but but that's that's why I like, yo, that that's something that really, you know, I don't I don't like when people mispronounce my name. But Laranta, you have to tell us um why did you choose Hampton University? Or why did you join the band? What made you stay? Oh yeah, that's, yeah. Why'd that's you a bunch band? of a bunch of different questions. I can I can answer them all. And you know, I'm, that's what? why I'm really glad we got our listeners out here listening to us now. How and do it's you a really enjoy great being black? Um uh, tell us about your two daughters. Uh where do you work now? Um uh, yeah, yeah. See, Some of this see. Shit we can save for another episode. See, Don't ask see. him all these questions. He's going to answer them all. And we ain't got time. <laughs> okay. okay. Back, back, to the, back to the subject. I joined the band. Um, I, was a, I was a young guy, young, really, really young kid. A movie inspired me. And then the makeup of my band. Like, I just knew. Wait a minute. Fact, Wait I, a I minute. I always love movies. Yeah. Movie inspired you? Which movie? Drumline. You I feel, I feel like we on, already man. know. Boom. Yeah, right. so no, now, you gotta say it. You gotta say it for the listeners. <laughs> yeah. All right. For for the listeners who don't know, it was a movie came out. You know, mid two thousand, early two thousands, and it was it was a really put good, a really good film. It was put together really well. The song selection was amazing. Starring the band and sounded really good. So it was really a really good representation of band culture and just the feel of it. And so, starring I, who? Know, starring my man. Hey, I ain't even gonna cap. This this one of those things. It's that man Nick Cannon. Like he he old now and he's as much a kid, but he was like he's really early in his career. Like that so, nigga. So does but, Nick Cannon still inspire you? Um, 
I see y'all are getting so off topic because what's today's episode about? What is band geeks. Episode? I'm trying to tell the band story. Look, okay. so I got in, in sixth grade. I got in in sixth grade. Um, like I said, I had a guy, he wanted to put me on clarinet, so I played the trombone. Like you, Demarcus, I didn't catch on, and it was bad. I had a cousin. Um, he played trombone. We were the same age, same grade. And he he called his mom calling back. You know, he playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, simple shit. My ass, hey, stuck on B flat scale. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, hey, you was ahead of me, bro. Yeah. You was ahead of me. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, so I, so I did stay with it. And what I do like about switching instruments, um, you just, because especially in the brass family, and then your armature is an important thing. And so, because I really want to do percussion, but like my rhythm thing, like my hand eye coordination, and like I said, this dude, he put nobody on drums. He put like six people on drums, everybody else. It was like 30, 30 clarinets. It was 12 flutes. It was probably like four trombones, no tubas, and like eight trumpets. But he, no. like, the whole makeup of the room was just, but fast forward, fast forward, boom. So now I'm in eighth grade. And my mom, she she found a way for me to get into Newton High School band. This is the, t- the band at the time was core style, and it was going to uh black. It was going to show style, high stepping. So they, the guy oh, they brought in to do it, he was a really dynamic guy. He was a really great leader. He got everybody to buy in, you know what I'm saying? Put some put some air in the horn. So they, they was piped up. And I'm in eighth grade. So I'm in eighth grade around, you know, 9 through 12. I'm, I'm playing like that. And I'm like, yeah, this is what I really want to do. Because song selection is really big for me. I'm in band mm-hmm. and playing. If you mm-hmm. like what you're playing, you're just going to play, 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 you know, you're just going to play it harder. You're gonna you're gonna create a better show. And he was a really creative man. Like when I said he had the vision he had, because he did old school and he did new school. But he, he so boom, that's eighth grade. And then ninth grade, I come in, I'm on tuba now. And it was just a good experience. My tuba section, we had um about 10. When you have that many uh, instrumentalists, there's a bunch of different personalities, and it was fun, it was kind of competitive. So everybody did kind of push each other better. But like I was saying, so reverted back to drum line. I felt like I yo, I'm, I can get a scholarship anywhere just because my band he got me to a level. Towards I can go, and I ain't gonna say I'm gonna be the finest nigga there, but shit, I know I know all my skills. I can sight read, you know what I'm saying? I I, right. I ain't the best sight reader now, but I can I can go anywhere. So I knew I was gonna go okay. black man. Let me ask you the question: Your band director is RDO, mm-hmm. right? Um, I don't think so. I had two band directors. I had Barry Alexander and I had uh Jason Smith. Jason Smith, I don't think he became red dog because he really from New Orleans. Um, mm. Never mind. But, yeah, but yeah. Blanken was from Hampton or something. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, Jason, Jason Smith, he was from Happy, he's five mu alpha, Brass D, and he the reason I went to Happy. Honestly, he did, some, oh, no. he did some slick shit. Listen, he did some slick shit. He it was Symphonic wins. Symphonic, we sent down with the tubas, right? Symphonic. He was like, Happy tuba section name is Lowdown, and he just walked off. <laughs> he said, he said shit. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's all he said. He said, walked off. What does off. that mean? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. And so, so you know, we doing around in springtime, second semester, we doing around. So. I'm auditioning everywhere and I'm getting money to go everywhere. I'm so that guy. Sorry, that, that was just a reaffirming thing. Like, hey, but I could and I could have went anywhere. I, I did choose happening for the quality of education, the quality of life, the different mm-hmm. type of people I would meet, mm-hmm. um, the, the man I would become after. But I, I, I could have went anywhere. And then so so that's why I always liked about it. But I'm glad I did choose happening. Don't get it twisted. So with my with yeah. my children, I really want that. Like, you know, how niggas be having hoop dreams. I got band dreams, but it's only if you choose it. <laughs> well, well, me if too. You choose it though. Me too, man. <laughs> Me if too. you choose it, I can't force this shit on you because you're gonna really hate it. You're like, man, fuck this shit. Like, I mean, it was forced on me, and I and I grew to love it. So if, you know, if I'm, I I'm got try. sons, if I got I'm sons, I do it. But girls, like my my, my oldest, she's swimming, she's swimming, doing art, and then my youngest, we're gonna see what she does. I'm I'm gonna always introduce it, but if you don't love it, that's okay because it's not for everybody. And that's another thing. Right. I right. never had a moment mm-hmm. where I really wanted to quit. Like I like, oh man, this shit suck. Well, oh, it's gonna be tomorrow uh-huh. type shit. Like, I ain't never had a moment where I really, because all the situations I was in, like, in high school, I had some dogs around me. These niggas, hey, and I, like, that's something I always say, too. Like, I could be a part of a section and lead and get everybody on the same page. So, mm-hmm. it'll be eight or nine of us, and they young, not ignorant, but they, you know, we saying we trying to play, and we're playing against schools that we think that are better, than, or they think they be- they are better than us, but we we come with that chip on our shoulder, and we just, you know, we playing hard. And mm-hmm. so, when I came to Hampton, it was it was a good, it was just, just, just a different, it was more musicality. And his son, uh, Rasan Holmes, his song selection, that man had a really nice pen, but I feel like, you know, a certain mm-hmm. part, he ain't had that competitive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, yeah, he was a, He really just wanted yeah. to carry on with Mr. Dr. Smart, you know. And that ain't, and that, that's, a, that's a strong thing to do, too. And you got to do it, but in your own way. Not like and listen, this, none of this and shit you know easy. Him. None of this shit easy. Wait, all yeah, these kids right. going to tell. All these kids going to tell their parents and what their parents doing. Calling who? All these kids gonna tell you, even the hardest nigga, he got a mom and daddy at home. And the moment he mm-hmm. come, the moment he come back with something wrong, and 
or he 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 fails in the class or something, they're gonna come at you and then so it's not an easy yeah. job being a band director, being a being a college band director. Yeah, that's not, that's why not. and but that see, that's not it for everybody either, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Look, he, like you hey, said, that, the man was a great arranger, amazing. Listen, like you can I write some be, stuff for TV for real. But man, you know. I want to be a band director for like like six weeks. And I thought about it. I was like, <laughs> hold on, hold on now, hold on. You gotta be able to do everybody's job well, not well, but like yeah. good enough to tell them how to do it better. Mm-hmm. So it's it's yeah. like it's levels to it because like it's certain it's certain things on the musicianship side of things. Like I can't, can't play a trumpet, I can't play French horn, but I can play a very tall. You got put that time in. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I ain't, I, 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 I'm sorry, I ain't, I ain't got it in me. Cause you, you ever practice so hard, and somebody come in, just walk off the street, not walk off the street, but like some people are so gifted on it and like really, really well. That's why mm-hmm. I like some oh, yeah. of the music majors. Some of the music majors I played with, they were just so. It's like, hey, this water to them. This is what mm-hmm. this ain't. Oh yeah, that's definitely how yeah, I feel. Compared uh, to what they plan for, you know, recitals. You know, I was a music major, so compared yeah, exactly. to exactly, come on, talk to, you folks, band, talk to these folks. Versus what I was like learning, and that was a percussion. So I played like four different instruments inside of one discipline. If that makes mm-hmm. sense. So it's like, yeah, yeah, it's levels. Yeah, it's yeah. Crazy and I, and, how deep just, music like, gets. It's really like a language. Yeah, for real. Yeah. And, but and, it's and, like you can't talk. It's weird at the same and time. And percussion yeah. is a whole. Yeah, percussion has got a whole. It's a whole. It's a, it's a whole different dialect. Yeah. <laughs> you know because what I'm saying? Like four different instruments working as one. And then you yeah. got to work with the band on top of that. Yeah. And then you got to work with the band, be honest, all the time. But Lorante, what you what y'all was saying, uh, you said you knew all your skills and stuff like that. Like, that's it really was a different language. It really is a different language because of all them mm-hmm. foundational things. And, mm-hmm. like, from in high school, going to college, like, I, did, I knew, like, two scales, like, perfectly. Other than that, really? like, I was, man, I was, I, like, I was good at, I was good at memorizing music. And like once I heard something played, mm-hmm. I could play it. I could play okay. it real well. But like sight reading and knowing them scales, I, I was not it. Like I was not yeah. it. My, my <laughs> second band director. So Mr. Alexander BA, he left my sophomore year. So junior year, we got Jason Smith. Shout out to BA. Shout out to BA. He wanted the best. I want to tell you the best, one of the best band directors to so, ever. Like he just he was. Oh, he yeah, was he went to Hampton too. He went to Hampton for um he got Brad. his master's in Hampton. And that was why that was something I didn't even know until <laughs> after the fact I came back. I'm just like, man, that's crazy. <laughs> this, this man, where he was for me in my life at the time, I, I ran into him. He was he was just a great dude, and like he could put he could put a, a battery on a rabbit, like you know the Energizer Bunny. He could put a battery. Oh, no. <laughs> put a right battery on a rabbit. I was like, what kind of country man? <laughs> no, nah, 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 I'm talking <laughs> Energizer Bunny. Like, I'm sorry, the Energizer Bunny. He you'll run through a wall for this man. And so, like when I say. Lauren, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Before let's you go to Lauren, let's let see me, your origin story. No, before we go to Lauren, I just have a question. What? Because I I always heard this word, but I never knew what it meant. Um, so I'm gonna ask it now. But what's an armature? Armature. Armature. I don't. I don't. It's like I, I the know. position of your mouth. Like your, how mouth you hold your, yeah, mouth your mouth. Yeah, your mouth, and then it's it. touch. Yep. Tell them. And it it affects your tone. The well, texture. yeah, like it. You can be flat or sharp depending on that, how you hold your arm. That you arm sure looks like you're sucking dick, Jared. But yeah, <laughs> essentially that's it. But I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't either. I'm glad that this is audio only. <laughs> I wish it was video. I wish it was video so folks could have saw that shit. <laughs> Subscribe to the Patreon. You can see it. <laughs> oh uh, my god. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, Lauren, what about you? What's your band story, and how did you get up to Hampton? Um, my story pretty simple. I was uh, I've been a musician since I was three years old. Oh damn! Um, Oof. Yeah, yes. that's why the I, real OG, I the realest my... one. <laughs> yeah, music is like in my blood, in my soul. Like that's really what makes me tick. So. Mm-hmm. When I was three years old, my father started teaching me how to play drums on like pots and pans. And then Ooh. when I was four, I got a drum set for Christmas. Like a little heap. It was like probably like two, three hundred dollars, little CD drum set. And yeah. I, when I got it and my dad put it together. I like quote unquote helped my dad put it together, you know. <laughs> but um, like I already knew how to play it because he had been teaching me, you right. know what I mean? Like I can play along to songs and so. That's what I really love to do with my my time as a kid, like play 
the drums along mm-hmm. to the radio. Mm-hmm. And um, eventually my mom got me a piano because she saw that I was interested in music and I was just naturally gifted at it at a young age. Mm-hmm. So started being able to play piano by ear, uh, real young too. And that just grew from playing instrument to instrument. I started playing guitar after that and then bass. <clears throat> and then by that time, yeah, I played like four instruments by the time I was like 12 years old. And so when I got to, um, so I went to, so I hopped on elementary from pre-K to sixth grade. So when I got to seventh grade, I joined the band because I wanted to learn how to play. I mean, learn how to like read music. Like I played by ear the mm. whole time. So that's what really got me to join the band. Uh, so I could just get my musicianship up hmm. and really know what I was playing. Because like I knew it sounded good. I know it felt good. But I wanted to know the technicality behind it. Yeah. So I could just go to the next level. And uh, yeah, so join like symphonic band and learn how to read music real quick and started playing marimba and timpani and all types of crazy triangle. And, you know, all I the little that instruments. It's like, what, triangle? Yeah. And, the, it's and the, um, the techniques. I ain't gonna lie to you because there's a triangle role where you gotta like, you know, wow. it's a little tech. I wish I could see me trying to do it right now. <laughs> But 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 I can play the symbols, the triangle, and the tambourine really well. You could probably play more than that because you understand percussion. Oh, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's like fifty different percussion instruments. I know it's crazy. I know the gong, like a gong, the tam tam. So yeah, I learned how to play all of that stuff in high school. Um, I was in like the top band when I first got to high school. Like mm-hmm. I was in the, I guess it was Symphonic Winds. So I was okay, in that so all you, four years. So y'all had levels of band. Like y'all had more than one band. Yeah, we did. Damn. Yeah. My school only had one band. Well, it had more than one, but it was like the same folks. <laughs> yeah. We had, I think, three years, like a freshman band and like a middle level band and then like the top Symphonic Winds band. Kind of like how we had a Hampton. I think we had two different Symphonic. Uh, yeah, we had the concert band and the Symphonic band. Exactly. It was like that, but we had three different ones. And then, of course, we had marching band and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Jazz band. I, I was in like yeah, jazz. Yeah, semester like concert bands. season. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So just took that and senior year, I knew I wanted to major in music engineering. So, mm-hmm. and of course, I wanted to be in a show style band. So, that was why I, I, I went to Hampton because it was really the only school that had a program that I could major oh, in. That was recording. Like music, recording technology program. And it made exactly. sense. Everything yeah. else had like just straight music. And but Thor Cookman mm-hmm. did have a um, music technology somewhere or another, but it was like fairly new. And mm-hmm. Hampton was a little bit more established. Yeah, so y'all did y'all research. And they gave me gave me scholarship money. No, I'm not gonna lie, I was real late. It was a last minute decision, like oh, okay. <laughs> four or five months before I went to Hampton, I decided to go. It was between that, Georgia State, and Tennessee State, because Tennessee State gave me a scholarship. I had got like four different scholarships from different um, you know, universities, but only academic um, or band. Band, band. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You knew you could get it anywhere now. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially so anywhere, just... anywhere I audition, I got money. Come on. Money. You know what I'm saying? Like, BA does that for you. BA, BA ensures that hey, you're gonna be a quality product. If you if you really want to put the work in, come on, put it in. And you'll walk out the other side easy peasy. Even if you cut like because Georgia just produces, I feel like the state of Georgia just produces well-rounded musicians. I ain't saying mm-hmm. we're the best, but um, yeah, but we so were around it. <laughs> exactly. They got a showcase coming. Because man um, is like Oh yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, they got a showcase coming in July uh, against the New Orleans All Star Band, so that's coming mm. up. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead, Lauren. But um, back back to you, Lauren. I'm sorry about that. Oh no, no, you good. I was just gonna say, band in the South is like like marching band is almost as good as the football game a lot of the times, if not better. Like oh, my yeah, school, my yeah. high school, our football team sucked all four years. Yeah. I was, hey, uh, hey, our, our, our college man, football the football team, team sucked. That's true, <laughs> football team sucked. Right. You you exactly you you 100 right. I forgot. Just a bump, big, right. bunch of uh big swole niggas. Quarterback couldn't throw the ball, kept getting the two. Ran over. 
Nah, they they'll win some games though. The ones the ones that matter. Yeah, like Homecoming, Howard, yeah. <laughs> Norfolk. Yeah. I would have yeah. known. Yeah. Yeah. We'll no beat them every time. Um, what are some of the bands that y'all look at um, when y'all are trying to enjoy some, you know, band culture music? Mm. That's something actually I gotta get better with because at my at my age where I'm at, I I don't dive in it as much as I did as I used to when I was Same. younger. So I'm turning right. 30 in um, August and I'm not around it as much. So I'm definitely trying to find a way to give back. Well, really with time and my uh, my band director from my high school, he's like, hey, not an open call, but like, hey, alumni, y'all can come back, y'all can help. So I definitely want to get, definitely get back more uh, involved hands on. But I, yeah. I do, I love big, big sounding bands. So Southern, I feel like they always sound good every year. And then Texas Southern has been sounding really good as of late too. So, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. I, I would say the same. Like I'm not. I'm definitely not into it. Uh, into like the the marching band culture. I do. I think. I think it's transitioned for me as I got older. It's like I, I just go to like more live shows. Or I listen to like more live music. And I've been to like uh, the the most like the best uh, live music event I've been to recently is uh, I was in Seattle and I went to um, this. It was like a a string quartet and they were playing uh anime theme songs so like theme songs from like inuyasha hunter hunter mm. um you know dragon ball z or like all, all the classics. and that shit was lit i mean they was like they was playing it too i'm i'm in there like damn <laughs> i need like these folks playing yo it's, it's, all them all them ain't no computers Right, but all four of them just, <laughs> just hitting it with them strings. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it was good. And so I think that's where it's, that's where my that's where I get my music fix now. It's like I'm listening to like more, uh, I guess not not so much just like cranking and shit in the band. I'm listening to like more like you know what I'm saying well rounded bands that have like I don't know deeper sounds, more more mature sounds. Suppose um, like I want to go see the they got they they're airing they're doing an airing. Or showing the black of Black Panther movie with the with the orchestra that yeah. recorded the Black Panther soundtrack, like that yeah. recorded for the movie. Um, I think it's happening somewhere here in the Bay, and I want to go to that. Like that sounds like it'd be dope. Yeah. So you watch the movie, but the soundtrack is like the live. Yeah, I love that um, composer, um, Jorgensen. I think. Let me see. Yeah, Ludwig Ludwig Gore. Gorison, he does all the compositions for Creed as well. Just anything that um that, mm. that director works on, he does compositions mm-hmm. for. He also does compositions for The Mandalorian, which I mean, that oh theme, yeah, that theme is like always stuck in my head. Uh, but but yeah, I love that composer. Ever since Black Panther <laughs> came out, um, the Black Panther theme has been um, my ringtone. So hmm. I really, really, really love that composer. But Lauren, what are some of the bands that you look forward to or that you listen to uh, now? Um, same. I really don't necessarily listen to bands all the time, but um, some of my like when I was younger, going to like Bella La Bands or like happen to see clips of bands it would probably be like jackson state and bethune and ncat mm. those were probably like the top three so yeah i don't really um uh listen to bands i never really listen to bands but i do subscribe to a lot of the bands uh you know on the uh on my instagram so i see them a lot and some of the bands i like love to watch perform are um nca nca and t north carolina uh a and t i love watching them perform they're always like great mm-hmm. great showmans i think they're like probably one of the best showmans yeah that's who a uh, drumline was based on right the no. fan no no you mean the room the movie yeah i thought no, that they was based, based on, on Morris uh Morris brown, brown. Yeah. Oh, for real? The even the yeah. band that um Nick Cannon was in. The band no, Nick Cannon was in was based on Lord Morris Brown. No, the band oh, okay. that uh that you know the the other band, the Pearl Band, was based on Morris Brown. 
the band yeah. that Nick Cannon was in was supposed to be based off our band. Really? Wait, yeah. No. Anton? Yeah. Yeah. No. Because Mr. Smart would right. never. Right. That's what I'm like. No, 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 no. Mr. Smart would never allow us to play like those. Uh, well, I was current, in the band at that time. Current stuff. Yeah, like current stuff. We were always playing like mm. stuff from the 80s marches. or the 70s and marches. Like when I was in the band, we played, we had a whole book of just marches that we had mm. to learn. We played a lot of marches play. my freshman year too. It's, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like 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 the our whole <laughs> first period, like our whole first first quarter was just marches in oh, time. Hell so <laughs> so so yeah, <laughs> we played crazy. yeah, no. we played a lot of marches. Yeah. Um uh with with mr smart so mr smart is supposed to be based off of us with a style of southwest the cab because southwest the cab uh their mm-hmm. dancers have a lot of their their eight counts so yeah mm. yeah okay yeah you was taught me something new i definitely thought it was based on yeah no no nah, no nah, because nah. because huh. you know all that stuff with incant is recent like in the in the last 10 years like uh-huh. Incant uh-huh. wasn't that didn't have that show style, what wasn't that hype uh for like 15 years ago. Like this just uh-huh. happened. Uh-huh. Yeah, that wow. just that, happened. Thomas so. Jones was that for Incat. I just want y'all to know he was the secret sauce and the formula, he was the chemical X. He the well, one that took hmm. that. that well, Dr. Jones, that. Jones wasn't there either. Oh, Dr. he was like that happened before even Dr. Jones oh, got okay. there, before he Dr. started Jones, his his, his doctorate. But um, but he did compose a lot of good, good songs. man. That man's pen is insane. And he like his song selection. That's why I, I liked about him. He was willing to do something today. I'm not saying he got to do, do all current. He'll stay, still play some throwbacks, but he'll do a mashup. You know, some old, with some new. And I really, I really, um, I really rock with Dr. Jones's pen. Yeah. All right, so we we wind down on time, y'all. I want to I want to get this, I want to get a question that's been on my heart. And I'm sure a lot of our listeners heart. In um, your heart is in your heart. It's, it's gonna be in yo. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not where we're going. That's not where we're going. Um, so <laughs> it was I had folks, a My bad, my bad. A lot of folks have seen like these band movies, Drumline, uh, American Pie has, been, has a lot of band influences. American. So what is Pie. your what is your this one time at band camp story? Oh God. Mm. Hey man, look, look, look. I'm in eighth, I'm in eighth grade. <laughs> I'm in eighth grade, right? I ain't doing that. I'm just seeing shit. I'm like, damn, this is how they getting it out here. What you mean? <laughs> it was just, hey, man, like, you know how we, like somebody's like two or three years older than you, but yeah. you're like, I was like 12 because I've always been young from my grade. So I was only like 12. Right. But people like 14 and 16 years older than me at that time, they're like, oh, they almost grown. Like, they just, now looking back, they was young, but they was fat, hey, fast, hey, fast as hell. Fast. Like that's boy, 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 boy. not everybody in the band is fast like that. But like it was about six on hey, by the six, overwhelming eight, six. majority of people in the band. I mean, yeah. I just feel like people are open minded in the band. You know, <laughs> <Your> parents. <laughs> A lot of people do drugs. And then, you know? we, and then we, and we just all got people talking about how we gonna put our kids in the band. Yo, I don't know what we're getting into. Yeah. Well, you, that's why you guys just raise your kids right. You know, hey, you ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, Lorenzo, go ahead. Yo, what? All right. interrupt you. Yo, one time at Band Camp Story. Oh, no, nah, that was it. I, I ain't going to really put too much people in business. It's just people with names. Like, just like, let's say a boy, a boyfriend and a girlfriend, they, they, they in a committed relationship or whatever. So, they doing some, some stuff. They're just making out. Uh-huh. And um, you know, especially on the bus, you know, the bus. So let's say we got a three, four hour road trip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That thing. Well, the like band, the band trips is where it all happens. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. So some how stuff, is dude. that? How is that not, your time at band camp? Right. No, you want right. to know about somebody else? They may have a part of experience because he was yeah. in probably in that was like that was like. The light bulb. I was like, "Wow, what?" Like, boom. That okay. Was... You said you was in eighth grade, traveling with the high school band. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> so now, what's your story? I don't. I don't have no. Cause we. I don't really have no good ones. I was. I was kind of. Man, like, yes, wow. you know. don't, don't, don't your ass tell those goddamn yeah. pills. Yeah, I was cause... always sitting in the front. Ask anybody on bus seat and uh, at half that. I was sitting in the front. 
I always said in the front. I never really said in the back. At band always, camp? You ain't got, you band, ain't got camp? band camp either? Exactly. At band camp? Nah, I go to band camp. Because I, I can tell I, a story about you from senior year band camp. Yeah, I can tell That's a story about you from band camp. So. Not right. having the best. <laughs> What's on the best? <laughs> Yeah, well, y'all, y'all, y'all go ahead. Tell me one. Tell right, me tell one, one on his yeah. behalf. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, yeah, I got a teaser. Uh, that was a past life. <laughs> I mean, the the his wife listening to this podcast. Chill out. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Like, like we can't ever tell a story about Lawrence because he got his mama listening, his girlfriend listening, his daughters listening. Right, all, he got yeah, everybody, everybody listening to the podcast. They do, they do, they do. They need to know, and I appreciate the support, but they need to know the real you. Exactly. Hey, but hey, 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 come on now! All, all these tough conversations, you, of course. So, what do you mean by that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you would do. I'll be fucked up because either way I go, either way I go, it's wrong. Whatever I say, whatever you would I'm do about, what with a dragon. <laughs> You would do just, what with it? It just get wild. It's just I don't even some conversations. Yeah. All right, um, go ahead. So, tell tell a quick tell a quick story. Tell a no, quick no quick no story. no no. We're not trying to get you in trouble since since we already know that you know man. You all right, domestic so, violence people. So I I'll, I'll tell one real quick. Uh, so my senior year at Hampton, me and Lorante lived together. This man Lorante would like lead a house, you know, as as one does, you know. So uh, I don't think nothing of it. So he leave the house, I leave the house. I go, I'm, I'm going to class, like work on projects and whatnot. I come back, it's a whole party in the house, like a rager. And it's all band folks. You know what I'm saying? It's folks twerking on our walls, folks in our goddamn <laughs> laundry room, like sitting on top of a washer and dryer and shit, folks in the backyard. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm like, and he didn't even tell me he was having a party. Yeah, I was and so I'm bad like, communication. Yo, I was like, yo, and I'm calling, picking up, calling the man, calling the man. I'm looking for somebody in the party. I'm looking around. I'm like, hey, man, if Levante in this party, <laughs> a, a girl walks up to me and is like, hey, Demarcus, don't worry about it. Levante left me in charge. It's all good. What? I'm like, Who is that? Who's I'm, that? Like, <laughs> I'm like, you don't live here. I ain't shit good. Like, Who did I, I tell her to, to do that? <laughs> I'm like, this need to wrap the fuck up right now. <laughs> and then, so, I, I kick everybody out because I'm tired. I'm tired as fuck. It's like finals week. I'm trying to Trying to finish my work and take a nap. Uh, I could get everybody out. And like before Lorante can call me and, t- and explain what the fuck going on, more people show up at our house, like from Norfolk State, from like oh, VSU, shit. from other schools. And they like, hey, what a party. We thought it was a party over here. I was like, that shit done. And they like, oh well, fuck you, you old Hampton ass nigga. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Niggas so, yeah, done. Damn, go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, if you ever live with Lorante, he's gonna throw a party in your house and I tell you about it. <laughs> who then, who was the woman? Did. Who was the woman? And where was I at? I'll tell you. Where were you at? Okay, that's the question. Right, we'll, we'll yeah. But yeah, he called he, he eventually called me after all this shit done happened. Was like, yeah, man, my bad. Uh I had <laughs> to go like take you. care of something. I'm like, don't use that sultry ass voice for me, nigga. That shit ain't gonna work. Exactly. <laughs> I'm pissed off. <laughs> exactly. But um, but Demarcus also didn't complete the assignment because that wasn't at band camp. It wasn't. It wasn't. But it was. It was. It was good enough. Good enough. All right. I so got. I, I my, actually. I actually have band camp stories. Go ahead. Like go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Band Gary. camp story that happened during band camp was my first year when I was playing the cymbals. Um, like the week before I started playing, I had to have surgery on my lower intestine, and it was oh, hot ooh. out. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. I, I had like a week to rest, and I was supposed to have a month. And it was hot out. Mm-hmm. And then it was my first time playing the cymbal. So I wanted to, you know, play good. So, and they're heavy. <laughs> and it's like all this stuff. So I was like passing out every day. Um, mm. I, I was like always in the back uh, um, with these runs. I couldn't really do the push ups. So I was always like slowest and the weakest. Then I would get punished because I was always the slowest and the weakest and pass it out <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, but but that van camp, um, uh, one of my friends, uh, was a dancer and she was dating mm-hmm. another one of my friends. Well, not my friend, but somebody in the band that I knew, and that person in the band that I knew, uh, he, um, how can I say this without revealing <laughs> who it is? He, uh, you ain't gonna know who it is. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't know who's gonna listen to this. Uh, he he did, you know. He 
he would have people over at his house a lot. So mm-hmm. I was at his house and then uh, he started doing stuff and I started doing stuff. And like we had this <laughs> quite sultry love affair for like a long time that started in van camp. And uh, and yeah, oh. that was fun. Mm. And I, so and this I, is your this is your this is one of your friends. Yeah. This is this is your friend person. Yeah. This is your friend boyfriend. And yeah. you just now he came well, you did me. say earlier that <laughs> you did say earlier. That's why, that your, that's why your Twitter name or your uh, IG name your is girl. on you. <laughs> <laughs> if you only your girl name. knew. Yeah, if your girl only knew. <laughs> if your girl yeah. only knew. You not sleep, yo. Yeah. No, no, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun because then, like, like I, I wouldn't blackmail him, but I would like be blackmailing him for like money. And stuff. <laughs> you would blackmail him for money too. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be like, I mean, like, like, but but what if the band knew about you? Because I think the band can find out about you if I don't get something to eat right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so hungry that I can't keep secrets no more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. that's my bad cat story. Then last mm-hmm. but not least, mm-hmm. Lauren, what about you? Oh, I didn't tell mine. Right? You did um, tell yours. You told that was yours Lorante. I told I told Lorante. That was, yeah, that was, that oh, was all. okay. Because Lorante trying to be tight lipped over there. Ain't nobody being tight lipped. I just no, got, you know, yeah, that's not a good one. I got one for Lorante, but uh, go pressure. ahead. Yeah, you should go ahead uh, <laughs> after Lauren. Oh. So I remember, I'll give y'all two parter. I remember <laughs> <laughs> my freshman year. Y'all remember, of course, how we had a uh, curfew mm-hmm. as freshmen. So I was in drum lines, you know. So Tiadra mm-hmm. was in my dorm. She was like the only other girl on drum line at the time. She was an upperclassman. She was like a junior, I believe. Oh, yeah, and I so Chiara. basically she would kind of cover for me and I would be out past curfew like every night, yeah. And like the, the mom thought I was a fucking upperclassman because one night we kind of mm-hmm. walked in, like the first night we walked in together and the lady was like, uh, are y'all on curfew? And she, I just like kind of played it off as we were walking to the elevator. She was like, no, nah, we ain't on curfew. That's for underclassmen. And we both started laughing and just walked to the elevator. <laughs> so from that moment on, <laughs> Shout that I'm the upperclassman and I was out every night, you know, getting lit, like just <laughs> whatever. And during then, band um, camp, though, during yeah. band camp, that was hey, the only time. Was the best time to get lit. Shit. Yeah, I mean, so, but like we minimal had to responsibility early. for sure. I mean, we didn't and care. Then, like, and then I remember also that first week that I was in band camp that Friday. Mm-hmm. That was the first Friday we threw like a party in James and I DJ that shit. And I was like my first college party and I was like DJ it. it was so lit. It was lit. Like he was getting Ooh, a party in and, James. Like, lit in James in the like the little lobby area. Oh, yes. this is this is you say it was your freshman year? Yeah, my freshman year. Yep. Uh, okay. So I was staying in uh Whitehall yeah. by then. Yeah, that Damn. sounds like a little freshman party. Who parties it in was James lit, Hall? No, I mean, it's because a I freshman, mean, cause that's where you can go. Exactly. <laughs> it sounded exactly. like it was lit. Damn. It was lit as fuck. It was probably like year. 30, 40 people there. And Damn. it was just band camp, during band camp, so it wasn't a whole bunch of people on campus. So, yeah, it was it might have been, yeah, it might, the football players usually there when we have band camp. Too, yep, the football but, players were there. there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like <sighs> some other, a few other sports. I don't know, I forget which sports are like fall sports, but Track. football and band. Linda Track. was there. Oh, That's all I'm going to say, Linda was there. Oh, <laughs> had we known that <laughs> if we only knew, <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I'm just trying to you know put her on blast. I'm just saying it was lit. Nah, like, I'm just saying we would have, y'all would have been in trouble. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, we wasn't online, that was pre, exactly. that was like, oh, it, was pre- oh. it, it doesn't pre- matter, okay. it doesn't matter. Like, y'all could have still does matter. Matter. I don't think no RDL people, it's James Hall, yeah, James think, Hall. Well. Oh yeah, I don't think. Who care about what? What go? What used to happen in James? They used to be called the what ghetto? Yeah, but the ghetto. I stayed in James Hall, but that thing. I, I wish I it. did. I, I, I was in Harkness. It, it was. Where did you stay, I stayed in Harkness. Harkness was clean and it was quiet, which I did need. It was whack. <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. hey, 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 hey. If James is a ghetto, then Harkness <laughs> is like the swamp. 
and nah, this is horrible. Mine was supposed to be like the upper class, like the the, the it was the it, better uh, fashion. It's just our door director was a bit more strict. Please. Mm-hmm. Door was more strict. That's uh, that's did, uh. Did, you, uh, did y'all ever go in Pierce Hall? Pierce Hall was the worst. It was yeah, small, yeah. <laughs> like 10 niggas up in that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I probably would have wanted to be in Pierce because. Nah, no. no, you wouldn't. <laughs> I was in VC but, uh, though. Mm, VC cuties. Oh, VC was huge. Mm-hmm. VC was, was huge. You could. They had two sides, two calves. You could see motherfuckers, sides, motherfuckers, sides. motherfuckers in by that joint. It was raccoons in the roof when I was yeah. a freshman. My freshman year was crazy. Mm-hmm. Used to hit them. Yes. Go to sleep. They used to be scratching and shit. It was yeah. It I was mean, it was pretty ghetto, I ain't gonna lie. It was like, and yeah. then they said a girl the dorms was wild, man. Herself in the dorms, and like, yeah, it was. Yeah, I heard the room was like too. all boarded up, and it was just weird. It was like different sectors of the. It was like different wings, and it was just creepy. It was kind of creepy. Yeah. But the good thing was so many girls in there, you know what I mean? And it's like mm-hmm. two girls, sometimes three girls per room, so you know you're not alone. You know, so shit mm-hmm. can go down. Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell my band camp story in James Hall, baby. Uh, hey, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so this is this is like after band camp, you know, after we done practice for the day or whatever. So we, and this is this is back when Four Locos was like a thing. Oh my god, <laughs> they, they had just hit the market. I know the story's gonna be crazy. <laughs> I have a Four Loco band like camp that. story too. <laughs> They had just hit the market. So we was like, hey, yo, we finna fuck with these poor locos. Basically, when they had finna go ham. Yes, exactly. And so we had, of course, I think, was I an upper class somebody? I think I, oh, because we, we didn't have to, we, it wasn't like hard for us to get them. So I think I was, I might have been 21 by now. I turned 21 my senior year and it wasn't my senior year. So I, we had to have somebody go buy the four, four locos for us. So we got like, everybody got their own four loco. And it's like me, one of my best friends that played trombone with me. Um, and then a few, you know, one another guy that played baritone and a few other women that played different instruments. Um, so we sneak all these women into James Hall. And, you know, we basically having our own little party in, like, one of the rooms, in, one of our, in whoever room we was in. And we drinking, having fun, having a good time. Uh, me, and, me and my best friend, we sharing the room. Uh, so at one point, both of us, go off and it's and it's like the rooms are like split it's like it's like a bed in here a door and then it's a bed in the other room and that's and that's but it's but it's all one room so you can hear what's going on on the other side and vice versa so you know um i ain't ain't got the best game so so you know me and my girl me and the girl i'm with we just end up talking and shit you know what i'm saying but we hear from the other side it going it's going wild it's we hear the bed, the bed's like old and janky. They made a metal, so it's like clank, 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 clank. And so that's not the most interesting part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> the most interesting part of the story is at the end, you know, it's like, all right, we gotta get y'all all out of here. But by this time it's late and everybody's back in the dorm. Dorm directors out front. Like there's another like RA or something like that sitting in like the lobby area. So we can't take them out the front. We gotta, you know, so we're trying to figure out how to get them out of there. We like, and we all, all our rooms are like on the second floor. So we like, all right, we gonna have to, we gotta jump out the window, y'all. We, y'all gonna have to jump out the window. Uh, and it's like, a, it was like, you know, it's a little ledge right there. You get on the ledge and you jump from there. <laughs> and, and the girls looking at us like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> like, yeah, I went to. <laughs> yeah. And we like, bet, cool. You know what I'm saying? We'll go down first. Two of us will go down first. One person say, one dude to stay up here. And we'll catch you as you jump. <laughs> wow. And so what? we got these joints mm-hmm. jumping out the window and we catching them. Um, one of the girls is a little heavier. And when she jumped, we try to catch her, but she still ended up fucking up her leg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the rest of band camp, she can't march. Oh, what my man? God. What instrument she played? Yo, uh, baritone. Um, mm. But yeah. Um, yeah, man. It was a wild time. It was a wild. It was, and it was. It was great. That Go to college, join the band. Great. It was, I mean, it was, I had a good time. I mean, your leg wasn't messed up from jumping out right. the window. I mean, she didn't like break it. I think she just like rolled her ankle the wrong way or something. Maybe her knee. Well, so, so like, heart, so... I, I know. I mean. So, 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 so why did y'all just like dress them up as boys, put a hoodie on 
and then like because there was like three them. of them. <laughs> And, and there was like at least yeah. three of y'all. Y'all could like surround. That's a good them. idea, Jared. Yeah, that y'all could have surround. Idea, but we weren't that smart, right? Clearly. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. Well. <laughs> well, I think that that is it for band camp. Uh, maybe one day on this podcast we'll tell Lorante's story. You know, mm-hmm. f f his girlfriend and mama and daughters, and we're gonna tell Whoa. all his story and put Whoa. them on like the now, Jared. Whoa! Oh, Wait right. a minute! I would never say f his girlfriend, mama, and daughter. Well, now you no, like no, f I mean, kids. like f them knowing about the situation. That's kids what I mean. in general. I, I would say they but need to it, know. And sometimes it's not even them. It's not even them. It's just some stories. We're, we're, I'm here to tell some stories. I'm not. This is BGE Black Geek Black Geek Energy, <laughs> and, telling, and I would I would talk Black Band Geek stories. Yeah, Black Band Geek exactly, stories. Exactly. Exactly. So we can have those convos offline. But thanks so wow. much. For joining us, Lauren. Wow. It's been it's been a pleasure. No, it's I been mean, great. I got Lauren you. Wait, go. wait, what about the questions? questions? Exactly. Okay, okay, perfect. Perfect. Why are you always trying to one? rush people off? How about, just, hey, hey, how about we just time? chill for a second? Take a small commercial okay, break. Yeah. yeah listen yeah, to some music. <laughs> and then we'll come back with more of Black <laughs> Geek Energy. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Time for y'all most favorite part. <laughs> questions. Once again, you guys have any questions, submit them to BGE at gmail.com. Is that the Gmail? No. Black, Black Geek, Geek Energy. Energy. Okay. Full spell down. Gmail.com. Yeah. You can also post your questions uh, on our Instagram page, direct message at Black Geek Energy on Instagram. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. This one comes from Sarah from Kentucky. Hey, Sarah. What would you do if you found out you could stop time? I would rob people. I think that's pretty obvious, right? Yeah. I think that's pretty obvious. I mean, I wouldn't rob like people. I would rob like big businesses. I would rob them like millions and millions of dollars. So like that's what I would do. I would make sure that 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 the um that the videos weren't still running and I would rob people. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'll rob like Walmart, you freeze time. I imagine the video freeze too. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, mm-hmm. so I would rob people most definitely. Yeah. I would, oh, yeah. I would do that, and I would be at every concert everywhere. Like no matter what event, like somebody speaking, or I just freeze time, go there, get get my little spot, boom, resume. Hopefully, I'm in the mix enough to where as you know, pop being unnoticed. Like how Joe be doing. I don't know if y'all watch you on Netflix, mm-hmm. but that motherfucker just be walking around. <laughs> like, nobody recognizes that. Don't yeah. don't you like buy a specific seat at concerts? Not general admission, not standing around. Oh, okay. Um, okay. yeah, I would be a minute. I'll be a minute if I could stop time because I would I wouldn't even do like big evil shit like rob banks and shit like that. I would do shit that like directly benefits me. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I'll be freezing time, so I got like extra time to like make it to work. I be freezing time to like I would I would steal when it was convenient for me like it was like oh like new new PlayStation just came out or I'm, I I want to get one oh they they out everywhere is one left at this store freeze time taking this PlayStation <laughs> yeah. I, I would freeze I, if I got into a fight with my girlfriend I would freeze time and walk out <laughs> <laughs> how that the mark is where are you <laughs> wow Look, and, and I would be so bad with it, I would probably forget to unfreeze time a lot. And so, like, days and weeks would pass. And I'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like last week again. Um, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, but but like like why wouldn't you if you're selling the PlayStation, then why wouldn't you take some money for like PlayStation Plus for that membership or you know just buy another controller or <laughs> whatever it is. Excuse me. Um, I mean, I got to draw a line somewhere, or something's going to become like a you know a maniac. You know. Wow. What about you, Lauren? What would you do if you could stop time? Um, I would use it to travel. Hmm. To travel just like the world, you know, really quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, I was gonna say, I would probably use it to flight. help people too, you know, because she's still trying to save there, people, y'all. like from certain horrible situations, you know. You 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 got a good heart, Lauren. I mean, if Keep I that. saw <laughs> somebody about to get hit by a bus, and I'm sitting right there, and I'm gonna stop time to uh to move them out the way, but like. Lauren, how are you gonna eat? Cause like, what you mean? She gonna oh, keep you working? Gonna like sandwiches or something? She gonna she gonna keep working the way she been doing? <laughs> what you mean? Like like if you stop time, you can't like go to a restaurant. Cause let's say you're going to Europe, well, then like, how would you get to Europe? Cause you're like you just, you stop time. I mean like on your way there. And how would you get there? I mean... Car, plane, train, boat. <laughs> if you if you stop time, do you sink into the ocean? Because she could legit just drive a car across the ocean if she stopped time. Maybe no, she could freeze. I mean, like, just hop on just a flight. That, I mean, like hop the on mass, a flight with an empty seat. If she's I mean, like got the, an empty seat on a flight, she just, I mean, she would have to fly the plane, and the mass of the ocean wouldn't change. Like, no. like the mass I mean, of I like could like. Take like she can take a delta. She could. She can get. If a smooth... I could stop time, that means I would have a lot of time to like probably Learn figure stuff. out how to make money and yeah. like actually make money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Without time passing, so I would figure out how to do all of that stuff. To be honest with you, because I got time to do it. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Next question, got oh. Hey, same. Next, we got Dennis from Chicago. Hey, if Dennis. your house had it. Hey, hey, if your house had a theme song, what would it be? Hmm. My house. If your house had a theme song. If your house like, had a theme song, that's how you walk in. Like, like, your, 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 because like house means something else in the LGBT community. So, okay, okay. You mean like, well, no, just, if you're I'm domicile, <laughs> oh, okay. if, well, you if lay your head, you're yep, yep, yep. Okay. We're going to just take a broad meaning to him. I'm going to click on his page real quick. It's on Instagram. Yeah, he looked like a regular dude. I don't think he. But how do you look gay? So are you saying I mean, that that's gay people do not look like regular people? Wow. So we're all monsters. That's what you're saying right now. <laughs> Come on now. Are y'all serious? <laughs> wow. Hey, we're just, trying to, things, we just we're just asking for clarity on your yeah. workers, sir. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't I don't see anything where it says he would be, but he who knows he might be. You know, yeah, we we I can we he follows the pod, so y'all can reach out to him. So and talk so to everybody, him. so everybody has to announce to you that they're gay. No, they don't. They do not. For the sake of this question, if your house <laughs> had a theme song, if your house had a theme song. What would it be? Um, if my house had a theme song, it would be uh, that song "Bay" by OT Genesis. Mm, how it go? It's a uh, yeah. Sing it right now. <laughs> I don't want to get us no uh, copyright uh, infringement, you know what I'm saying? No, uh, I mean, like, but... <laughs> you can say five, 15 seconds of it. We don't get copyright. I look like I look like bad. <laughs> goddamn, mm-hmm. goddamn. My outfit looks like God's plan. You don't mm-hmm. know another nigga that's fresh, that's fresh like this. Watch wow. change colors when I lift my wrist. <laughs> wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't get copyright infringement on that, even if we did go over <laughs> 15 seconds. Mother. All right. No, don't care. Wait, see, if, I don't want the song to play whenever I'm about to leave the house. Like when I'm getting ready, when it's like the house can just sense when I'm like getting ready to leave and then the song starts playing. I wouldn't want it to play when I'm like coming in. Mm. Okay. What about you, Laranta? Tay? 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 Laranta Tay, yeah, for sure. Okay. It's been a couple of different, um, it's, it, I got a couple of th- different things going in my head off top. I don't know if y'all seen uh, King of Queens. This is a sitcom about to do it. Like I like that theme song, that opener. That's funny, but like all the time that'll annoy me though. Like that. I would go. What does it sound like? Yeah. Um, sing it right now. <laughs> yeah, I can't really sing. Wow. But uh like the last line is like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't really sing. So 
So do a little. Do, I, I, I play. I play for y'all. I don't know. No, like, yeah, I can't remember. Anything. No, but that's cool. Just mm-hmm. say the words. Say, yeah, say yeah, you ain't got sing Yeah, I don't words. know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm like drawing like a real deal. Like you know how when you when you hear playing, you can sing with it a little bit, and even uh, when you sing with it, it still be. You know, so so how is this your theme song? You don't even know it. Like more, more so the music in it, if that makes sense. Not just the lyrics. Lyrics are good too. Don't get it twisted. And then hum, hum the melody. Yeah. <laughs> hum it right now. <sighs> or then uh, before I let go. <laughs> 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 That's how that song goes. <laughs> Which version? The main, the main Frankie Beverly or the Beyonce version? Yeah, the Beyonce version or, or Frankie Beverly? It, it depends on the time of day. Wow. <laughs> wow. Sing both of them. On yeah. the weekend, <laughs> weekend, it might be Beyonce, but Sunday, Sunday through Thursday is, is the traditional. Yeah. So <laughs> I thought that this was choose a theme song, but, uh, okay. but, I, I, but I guess you choose like five or six, and that's cool too. So my theme song would be um, the theme song from Power. um, Mm -hmm. That's a good one. I was thinking about that. How'd that go? Sing it. They say this is a big rich town. town. Don't help Uh, him. He don't need your help. (laughs) I just come from the poet's part. (laughs) Like I see, like that that, to get the bag, don't bam. Yeah. (laughs) So (laughs) wait, what was that last line? (laughs) <laughs> Hold on, let me pull up the lyrics right quick. So, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, it would probably be that or uh the the first few lines of the instrumental part of Beyonce's America has a problem. It, so mm. like if, if I could like come into that, dun 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 that's the, that's the sound you want every time you walk into your house? Every time I walk into a different room and there are people in there, oh, it, it'll be like, da na 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 da 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 na 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 uncha uncha So, so it doesn't play in. if you're in the house. If you're in the house by yourself, it doesn't play. No, 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 it doesn't play. But if but like there are uh, other people in the room and they're expecting, like, like you know how like when a king enters a room, the fanfare plays? Or like, so, a, so or like a gesture, my, like a fool, yeah. Yeah, so that would be my fanfare. Cool. I like that. That's a, that's a good answer. Yeah. How about you, Lauren? <laughs> uh, me? Mm-hmm. Um, mm. that's, that's a hard one. So um, many, right? So many fit. I guess I'm going to have to go with ATL Leon's Outcast. Ooh. Mm-hmm. How'd that song go? Yeah, sing it right Unless now. Unless the M-I quick letter coming around the corner. Something, something. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That sounded really good. <laughs> and that sounds like a good. You just throw uh, your I'm hands, throw in, your the hands in the air. Exactly. And wave them like, like, like they just so don't care. care. And if you got, if you like this and grits and all that pimp <laughs> shit, pimp shit, everybody is saying like, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, mm-hmm. are there any more questions, Sarante? No, that's we just gonna do what no, we just go into. Think that's think that's it. That's all that's all we got for this evening's episode oh. of BGE podcast. Okay. Well Blanky energy. Um I yeah. appreciate y'all having me on. Oh, of course. We appreciate uh, you for Lauren. being here. Yeah, we love you, Lauren. A great guest. We love hope you come on again soon and uh and you know, talk with us soon on some other geek stuff. And uh, yeah, that'd be great. You know, music, culture, mm-hmm. black culture, things like that are up my alley. So yeah, right. my area of expertise. Right, <laughs> Lauren. Right. Lauren, I can't remember. Did you used to play Yu Gi Oh with us in college? We I did not. Cards? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you, I do. I do still have some Yu Gi Oh cards, but I, I I don't really know how to play and all that. Shit, you know? Oh man, right. we'll yeah. teach you how to play. Ain't that right, Jay? Yeah. Slightly, you know, <laughs> yeah, slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, and, and Lauren, I think we did double team and play them, but uh, I don't think. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You was like, yeah, uh, yeah. You probably was telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh, 
But uh, Lauren, I hope that you tell all your friends about the Black Geek Energy podcast. They can email us at blackgeekenergy at gmail.com. They can follow us on Instagram and TikTok on Black at Black Geek Energy. And they can follow us on Twitter at BGE underscore pod. Make sure that all your friends follow us, actually follow us on whatever platform they listen on, um, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Audible, um, Pandora, whichever platform they listen to us on. They like us, they leave a comment, and they let us know how we are doing uh, on this podcast. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. And Lauren, is there, is there anything you want to plug before you go? Oh yeah. Um. Yes, of course. Uh, check me out on YouTube. Just at Napalm N A Y P A L M. Um. You can check out my beats at musicbynapalm.com. I am a music producer and audio engineer, live sound on my own business, Atomic Unlimited Inc. So check me out if you need some work. Yeah, she and she nice with it, y'all. She nice with it. She really is. I she am. Really is. Yeah, she got like you got like two know, grams at this point. I pay my, you know, you know, we work on number six, but uh, <laughs> oh, that's right. My bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of into existence, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so that was this episode of DGE Pod. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.